Who's the most decorated comedian? <laughs> the, most deco the most decorated comedian. You know, how, when I heard that, I, decorations are for Christmas trees. But I just, I always thought, in terms of anything, anything, if you said, I'm going to get in shape, and you got in shape, and you stopped doing what you, it took to get in shape, you wouldn't be in shape no more. If you stop doing a thing, and you talk about how you used to be a thing, you're not that thing anymore. The thing about comedians is birds got to fly, fish got to swim, and comics got to keep telling jokes. We don't take breaks. I mean, gold fluctuates in value. You know, I, I think it's the height of irony um, to believe that you've already done enough to merit anything. Just like every, you no, know, like when, when I'm introduced to an audience, they don't care what I did, they care what they paid for. They, they, fame lasts about three minutes on stage. After that, <laughs> all I know is this was $60. Make it happen. Did Monique have a, did she have an argument? Sure, everybody has an argument. Yeah, I, I believe she did have, have an argument. But the bottom line is, nobody you know makes that much money for one hour. Nobody. LeBron James, the president, uh, 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 nobody for an hour. We're talking about a half million dollars for an hour's work. If you, if you get $20 million for a movie, you're working nine months to get that movie. It's, it's, how, how can I, listen, I, listen, I'm doing a Netflix special. And when they gave, uh, gave me that special, I never asked what I was getting. How am I going to tell you my problems? I'm, I'm asking you to help me boycott somebody so I can get more money, and you trying to come up with the $13 you need to keep your Netflix on. That's silly. You know, Faze on Love recently went on the air, and he talked about Dave Chappelle and not, sure. you know, not being famous to, to the black community, or not, you know, to a That's, certain point he wasn't popular until Chappelle's show. And, and Charlie Murphy, what was your whole thought? Well, you know what? Me and Dave, uh, we were on uh, Def Jam 25. And, and the thing that people don't remember is that Def Jam turned him down a couple of times because he wasn't what they were looking for right then. But it's, 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 it's a cautionary tale. Whatever you're looking for is looking for you. But it truly doesn't happen until it's time to. It truly doesn't happen. The, the, the cautionary tale for, for Chappelle is that he stick to who he was even when nobody got him, until everybody did. Like Dave Chappelle reminds me of Prince. The first time I saw Prince, he was getting booed on stage in Los Angeles at the sport at the Coliseum because he had a thong and, and nobody knew what that was. And I hadn't seen Prince again, even when he gotten famous till about maybe 15 years ago. Cause I had this, it, when I saw him, I went, that's this dude, you, I, you can watch that. People forget Jamie Foxx won an Oscar for Ray, but he did booty call. People always remember the top. They never know what you, they, they don't remember the ascent. Are you, what's your relationship now with Steve Harvey and, and Cedric the Entertainer? Well, me and Ced going on tour all the time. My wives uh, spend our residual checks together. Like, I can always tell when we got a residual check because I come home and, and an envelope is open and my wife is gone. <laughs> and she's like, hey, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with Ced's wife. So, it's, uh, so I can always tell. So we're very close. And Steve and I, uh, despite, li listen, it, it's, it's so funny because I get asked that all the time. I love Steve, he's my brother. I did not agree with him going to see Trump, and I do not now, and I think everybody who, who, who I mean, given, you know, the, the, you know the, the continuum of time and what's happened, I think that he can see that that probably wasn't the wisest thing he could have done. I think, but my, my attack wasn't against Steve, it was against Trump. It wasn't, it had nothing to do with Steve. Steve is my friend and I love him. 